Hi friends, welcome back to Angular tutorial. In this video, we are going to learn about the class binding. We have learned about event binding and event related all things from our previous video. So if you don't see this video, you can see I have given a link in the description section. So now I will show you what is class binding. We will learn how to change class name conditionally and it will further help you when you work with any other forms or any forms little application. So let's see the full video so you can understand how the class binding is actually working in Angular. The Angular class binding is basically used to add or remove class to and from the HTML element. So the class name is the property name of the HTML element. Hence we can make use of property binding to assign the class name to any HTML element okay so let's take an example so we can get it more clear okay so let's go to the visual studio code and here the main component is the app component so if we go to the app component ts we can see there is app component.html that is the template file and app component.css that is the css file so first we will create some styling so we will create a class into this section so the inside the app component css we will write some class so how we can write this so we are creating the success class okay so the success class that is the color will be green okay so if this is success then the color is green in the same way we will create a error class okay so if we will get any error we will print the error class okay so i will explain you each and everything why i am creating these things but let's see what I am doing now and I am creating another class that is the underline class okay so let's make the proper spelling and underline class is text decoration is underline okay so I am creating these three classes and we will use in the HTML sections and we will bind these things with the app component ds okay this is the typescript file so this is my typescript file and this is app component dot html file okay so first i will show how we can bind simple class then i will go for advanced okay first i will create a p tag okay and inside the p tag we'll just write it this is success message okay and if you go to the browser we can see this is success message here i will add a class inside the p tag to make it more better here we have a class that is the success okay so i want to use this success class inside this p tag so how we can do this so let's add three property for these three classes okay so write the three property first so write success equal to the class name that is the success and in the same way we will write the error equal to error so i am creating basically the property of this class so this is error and for underline we will create a underline okay so <clears throat> underline okay so now we can use this property inside this app component html so for using class property we need to write class inside the third parenthesis okay so write class and we need to add a equal and then inside the inverted comma we need to write the class property so here i want to use the success here so we'll write simply success so now if you go to the browser we can see this is success message so now it is green why it is green because actually it's fetching the css property from here so same way if we just create another so just copy this and paste the error class here and write this is error message and write another so this is underline message 
okay and same like we will use the underline property here so underline so now if we go to the browser we can see three classes and three defined styles okay so up to this this is simple but now if i want to add any condition so how we can add this suppose i want to set a error message suppose here i am creating another property suppose has error okay and by default i am setting a has error is false okay and i will provide a condition that is if the error then it will call the error class and if this is not error so it will not call the class okay so just copy these things and here write condition this is conditional message okay and here how to write the condition so we are so we have the class and then write dot error so this is the class property this is error so if the class dot error then it will print the class name for has error so it will compare if the class error is same as a has error then it will print the output so now the class error is has error and it is false that means there is no error there is no class added for this now if we make this true that means the has error became the error class okay now if you go to the browser we can see it is showing the red message so why it is red message because now the error is true so it will print the error class so this way we can add any condition class into a section you can use these things when you are validating your forms okay so this is the very important things and now i am going to show you some different things suppose i want to add a multiple class on a single tag how can we do this so just create a p and inside the paragraph tag so i am writing a text that is multiple class example okay so i want to provide the multiple class on the on this p tag okay so how we can do this very simple suppose i am creating another property that is multi class okay and here just inside the array we will write some classes so for success they are have a color and i want to be underlined also so it will have two class that is success and underline so let's use this multi class for this p tag so same like this so right here class and provide the class so this is the multi class so this is the property from app component dot ts now if you go to the browser we can see multi class example so we are getting the underline also and the text is also the green that means two class are applied on this text so in this way we can add multiple class so in any situation if you need multiple class for any single tag or element you can add in this way so using the array okay so let's say i want to add a condition on multiple class binding so how can you do this so this is some advanced so just create another thing suppose here write conditional multiple class okay so condition with multiple class okay and i want to provide the condition and this conditional multiple class actually a property of this angular component and i will use these things so i will add the condition inside this bracket so for success we will add not this dot has error so this is the has error okay so when there is no error it will show the success class otherwise if there is error then it will print the error so i will use this dot has error okay so basically this is the property of the class so we need to use this class property using the this keyword okay 
so now conditional multiple class property is ready so we can use this so here i will create another p tag and uh, i am taking any label that is conditional multiple class okay and same like we will write a class property and we will add the multi class conditional multiple class okay so now if you go to the browser we can see this is red because if you go to the typescript file we can see the has error currently true that means there is error so it is showing red so if we make it false then we can see it will become the green that means there is no error so it is applied the success class okay so in this way we can do class binding in angular so we have got idea about property binding event binding from previous video and now we got concept of class binding so only style binding part is left so we'll discuss on this in my upcoming video so if you have any queries about this video please comment in a below comment section so please like and subscribe this channel for upcoming video thanks for watching this video have a good day